Hello everyone, welcome to Crypto Slash, a YouTube channel that educates you in your crypto journey. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. Last week, the Pegaxi team announced a streak of upgrades such as stats-based racing, genetic breeding, and Pega burning mechanism. With regards to stats-based racing, the team left it up to the community to figure out exactly how it works, releasing little to no information. Since then, the community has been drafting theories on how stats matter. But there is very limited evidence out there that strongly proves the theories. In this video, I will walk you through the five key insights from a very data-driven analysis conducted over 500,000 data points over the past five to six days. I would like to reiterate that anything I say in this video is not an investment advice. I will be laying out the facts supporting evidence and what my strategy is, but it is your responsibility to conduct your own research before making any investments. For the purpose of this analysis, I have collected data of over 10,000 pegas with an average race count of 50 to 60 races per pega, resulting in 500,000 plus data points specifically for this analysis. Thanks to Pegaxi's API endpoints, I was able to extract this information with very limited issues. Now, let us jump into the findings. Our analysis indicates that Campona and Klin have a very slight edge compared to Hoss and Zan, although the difference is not very significant. For beginners, the three lines indicate the distribution of data. For example, 75th percentile is the value below which 75% of the data points lie in. Median refers to the 50th percentile. It's always ideal to compare 75th, 50th and 25th percentiles across distributions to ensure an apple to apple comparison. For example, Campona always has a slight edge compared to Hawes in terms of win rate, as you can see from all three percentile data. For more details or information on percentiles, you can refer to the link in the description below. Pacers tend to have a lower win rate compared to other breed types, and the difference seems significant at around 2-3%. to it makes logical sense as a benefit for highly scarce breed types, but with the new announcement of introducing different leagues with different price pools, we need to keep an eye on how this trend evolves from today. The most curious question, how does total stats of a pega impact your win rate? Well, the answer is simple, it doesn't impact at all. The chart on the left hand side is a plot of win rate versus total stats for over 10,000 pegas. It is very clear that the distribution of win rate doesn't depend on the total stats of the pega. On the other hand, when we look at how the total stat evolves across pegas from lower win rate to higher win rate, the insight is actually shocking. The average total stat of pegas with greater than 30% win rate is actually lower than that of Pegas with less than 10% win rate, especially by a significant amount of around 2-3%. to In the next two sections, I will walk you through why this is the case. The next question is, if total stats of the Pega doesn't matter, then what matters? The answer is the combination of attribute stats for the Pega. The following is, I believe, the most important takeaway from this analysis. Performing the same analysis of plotting the average stats of pegas across different win rate buckets tells us three things to keep in mind. First, for a winning pega, speed is more important than fire, which is more important than lightning, which is more important than water, which is more important than wind, and last comes the strength attribute. As speed and fire stats increase, your chances of higher win rate increases. As strength, wind and water stats increase, your chances of 
higher wind rate actually decreases. In order to confirm this finding, I performed another analysis. I classified each attribute stats into three categories. High means the stats are greater than 7. Medium means the stats are between 3 and 7 and low means the stats are less than 3. I then created combinations of buckets and calculated the average wind rate of PEGA in each combination. This proves the three points we just discussed. When we filter the combinations with average wind rates greater than 25%, we can see that speed is the most important attribute followed by fire followed by lightning. Water, wind and strength are very limited in terms of its influence over the wind rates. Higher speed definitely increases your chances of higher wind rate significantly. One more thing to note is it is beneficial to have certain attributes to spike while certain attributes to have extremely low stats which is also a common trait among high wind rate pegas. Let's try to validate this from the marketplace. I have filtered the highest speed and fire stats pegas. Looks like the market has already placed a premium for such pegas in the marketplace and the wind rates are significantly higher. This is a clear evidence that our findings we just discussed is in line with what the actual data is. Now let's move on to the last finding. Evidence clearly suggests that in addition to PEGA stats, the stadium parameters also impact race results. Filtering winning PEGA data from over 30,000 races, the correlation matrix between the PEGA stats and the stadium stats validates the theory. There is significant positive correlation between PEGA's and stadium's wind stats and negative correlation between PEGA's wind and stadium's temperature stats, which means a PEGA with higher wind stat performs well in a stadium with higher wind stats while it performs worse in a stadium with higher temperature stats. A similar takeaway regarding the lightning stats. A PEGA with higher lightning stats performs well in a stadium with higher light stats while performing worse in a stadium with higher wind stats. In order to validate this, I tried to map the characteristics of winning PEGAS in stadiums with different key parameters and I was able to arrive at the same conclusion. In a stadium with higher wind parameter, winning PEGAS typically have very high wind stat and very low lightning stat. In a stadium with higher light parameter, winning PEGAS typically have very high lightning stat. In a stadium with higher humidity parameter, winning PEGAS typically have equally distributed stats across attributes. This says that the water parameter is very insignificant to the success of a particular PEGA. In a stadium with higher temperature parameter, winning PEGAS tend to have higher fire stat and lower wind stat. In summary, a PEGA that matches the stadium stats would have a higher chance of winning. Right now, stadiums are still RNG, so these insights would not impact your decisions. But in future, when the game enables you to choose the stadium, then these insights would be very important to keep in mind. To summarize our findings, we saw that Campona and Clint tend to have slightly higher win rates compared to Hawes and Zan. Next, we saw that pacers tend to perform worser than other breed types. We also discussed that total stats of a PEGA are irrelevant when it comes to win rates. Individual attribute PEGA stats are very critical to decide the win rate of a PEGA. In general, speed is more important than fire, which is more important than lightning, which in turn is more important than water followed by wind and strength. And lastly, stadium parameters impact PEGA's performance. The more closer the PEGA stats is to the stadium stats, the higher are the chances to win the race for that particular PEGA. 
So what's the best strategy moving forward, you might ask? Well, this is not my recommendation, but my strategy is that I would try to collect as much Pega as possible with higher speed and fire stats, either through buying them or breeding one of them, and then burn the less performing Pegas in the upcoming burning event. I will be performing a very similar analysis on genetic breeding based on the breeding data over the past few days so that I can breed the right Pegas as per the parameters discussed above. So stay tuned to this channel. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you are looking for the data and details of this analysis, do subscribe and drop a note in the comments below. Thank you. Have a good day and goodbye.